and I am Jason in the Ghostface costume. And today we are going to be talking about the best villain in a horror film series. I think there are three main contenders. Four or five. There's four. Ghostface? You can't count Ghostface because yeah, he's but multiple people. That's he's an fair. entity. They call Michael Myers the shape for a reason. So Ghostface has the same body language throughout all of the screen films. Alright, fine. Ghostface so is on the ghost table. Ghostface. Face. So I also, so we got Ghostface, we got Freddy Krueger, we got Michael Myers. Michael Myers, and Jason. If there's any other ones that you think are worthy, comment below. Hey, I know there's a lot of people we're missing, but we want to focus on these four. Agreed. 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 All these horror franchises are really laced with sexuality, all of them. Freddy's in your dreams, it's like intimate. He and can he do... makes dirty, dirty comments. You got Jason, who's really angry about sex. Anyone that has sex in a Friday the 13th film dies. And then you got Michael Myers, who used to watch his sister have sex, and she was kind of loose and whatever. So now he's always killing people that are having sex. So I feel like Jason and Michael Myers have a similar vibe going on. Well, the that... slow, stalkery thing. If you put those two against each other, Halloween blows Friday the 13th out of the water. You can't and have one without- just originality and also definitely the music. So many people can like play it a little, nah, 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 little I video. can. Yeah. I'm a talented musician. Buy my album, Link in the Underbar. Let me ask you this, who's better, Jason or Freddy Krueger? Freddy Krueger! Well, I vote Freddy Krueger because to me the idea that someone can come to you in your dreams is horrifying. Because everyone needs to sleep, obviously. No, I don't. Look at Mike and I, we don't sleep. We're men, we're supermen. Yeah, whatever. He can come to you anywhere, which is just horrifying to me. If Jason's chasing you down or whatever, technically, you could go to the airport, fly to China, backpack somewhere into China where he would never find you in some obscure village. Freddy Krueger, he catch you on the plane while you sleep, he catch you at the airport while you're sleeping, he catch you in on a bus on the way to this obscure village, and also he preys on some of your worst nightmares. So he'll put you in your dream and then put you in your worst nightmare and then arrive with his scary blades make much God, he's just so creepy. And then also, you're always questioning reality. That's how I feel right now. I miss my mic. I'm not a huge fan of Friday the 13th. Obviously, I hold it up there as one of the staples in horror cinema. It's not Halloween. Okay, what about Halloween versus Freddy? I'm still torn between that. Ten years I've been torn. Robert England was born to play Freddy. There's no one really behind Michael Myers. So now we have Ghostface. Now this is for our generation. I think a lot of people are excited for Scream 4. This huge thing that's gonna either flop completely or be gigantic, revigorate the whole franchise. franchise yeah. But like Ghostface Mask is so iconic now. There's always a one item that has to be there. What are they gonna kill with? Jason's using a machete. You got Michael Myers who uses a kitchen knife. You got the Scream character who uses anything, really. And you got Freddy who uses his gloves. The thing about Scream is, it's a huge homage to past horror films. They're all different, but we want to know what your favorite is. That's the point of this. We need to know exactly why that one is the most badass, but that one is the most frightening. Vote below. Overall, out of these four, who's your favorite? I still think Freddy is my favorite. The fact that he can come to you in your dreams and that you aren't able to sleep is a huge deal for me. Just so creepy. There's nothing you can do. There's no way to appease him. And you? This is so tough for me because you got Michael Myers and then you have Scream. I, I'm going to go with Michael Myers on this one because he's classic. He's the one that really started all of this. It was the biggest independent film ever released when it came out. It cost them this much to make and it made this much money. Let's throw a guy in a mask, he stalks babysitters. It sounds simple. It could be done very well or it could be done very poorly. Essentially always been about Michael Myers going after his sister throughout the whole series. So what Nightmare on Elm Street is about is Freddy Krueger seeking revenge on the parents of the kids on Elm Street because the parents burned him to a crisp because he molested their children. It was fair. So, overall, we want to hear your opinions. Mm -hmm. That's why we did this debate. Who is the best? I love you. And then Ghostface, and then Ghostface's backstory. Ghostface. Bum, 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 bum. What's that? I don't know. Then Scream Two. We can't really. <laughs> God, bless you. Uh, no, Machete. No, Jason. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Wait. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he had the devil's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Phil. That's not going yeah. in. <laughs> it is. Cougar. You know what I do with these two fingers? Touch yourself. 